Hi friend, it's Amanda here from Fun Hands On Learning. In today's video, we're going to take a look at some of the recent activities that I have done with my pre-K and kindergarten students. These are new activities that I've created recently and we have been just having a blast with them. So you're going to see activities that work on literacy and math. If you are interested, let's get to it. Okay, this first activity works on vowel sounds, and so we're going to be practicing A, E, I, O, and U. Now, with my pre-K and kindergarten kids, when we do the alphabet and when we do pre-literacy skills, the first letters that I like to teach the kids are the vowels because those are the most important. And so this activity has vowel trees, they're vowel apple trees, and basically the kids are going to match up the apples to the correct apple tree. So we have A, E, I, O, and U. Okay, so what my kids did is I gave them each a tree. Now if you're working with just one student, you might want to give them one tree at a time, or you can lay out all the trees and have like your own forest. Um, but I was working with multiple students and so I just gave them each a tree. And then um, we, and then I handed them, or actually I laid, I think I laid out the apples in a pocket chart, if I remember correctly. I think I have a video of my kiddos doing this. So if I do, you're gonna see kind of how we did it. I'll, I'll insert a clip uh, after I explain the activity, but yeah, so some way, I can't remember exactly what I did, if I laid out the apples or if I put them in a, in a pocket chart, and then they had to match up the correct one. So there are three apples for each tree. So my first apple here has I, I, instrument, so it would go on the I tree. Here I have an A, A, astronaut, so it would go on my A tree. You get the idea. Here's A, A, elbow. You can see that. That will go on E and so on. Okay, I have egg and elephant. So there's the E tree. The E tree would have those three apples on it. Okay, we have an iguana. We have our first U uh, uh, up. It will go on the U tree. So you get the idea. They have to match up the apples on the correct tree. One thing that we always do when we're practicing our vowel sounds is we repeat our chant or our song with the sounds. So, A says A, A, E says A, A, I says I, 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 O says A, A, U says A, A, I know my vowels, A, E, I, O, U. So that may be a song that you may want to teach your students as well. We also do it with the pictures. So we'll do something like this. I'll pick one picture from each tree. So we'll we'll do A for ant, I for iguana, O for octopus, ah, ah, octopus, E for elephant, U for umbrella. I know my vowels, A, E, I, O, U. Okay, so we'll, um, We'll just practice that song and we'll, we'll practice with the different letters. So we definitely did that. Now, another thing that you can do with this activity is you can do some letter matching, which can be a lot of fun. So um, since it is fall, and this activity is kind of a fall activity with the apple trees, I took out our fall letter leaves. So these are just different leaves with the capital letters are on orange and the yellow ones have lowercase letters. I wasn't really too worried about capital and lowercase right now, but what we did is we just had to find the matching leaf and put it on the tree. So I had them look through their leaves and find an E for the E tree. And we would go through and find an A for the A tree. And then we would say capital A. And we could look here and we have both of our letters. But we would find them and we would kind of match them up. And if they found a lowercase, we would say that's a lowercase one. Or if they found a capital, they would, um, I would say that's a capital. If you don't have these with the little uh, leaf letters, that's totally fine. Do it with magnetic letters and that would work perfectly as well. You're just pra trying to practice matching up um, the letter names. And so it's just a fun 
addition to this activity. It's not actually part of the activity, but it's a it's another step that you could add to it to make the activity even more fun. activity let's go on to another one okay this next activity is just super simple patterning now if you are looking for any of these activities I always have links in the description box below to these activities most of these activities are part of my back to school uh, bundle of activities but um, you will see one activity in this video that is from my sensory bin bundle just to let you know and the links again will be in the description box if you're looking for anything Okay, so for this activity, we're just practicing patterns and all of the pictures that we're using are school themed, okay? Because these are kind of activities we've been doing in September. Um, so they're, they're school themed here. Um, but you could use them all school year, it doesn't matter. So what they do for this activity is they take a um, pencil and they look at the pattern and then they have to find what comes next. So we have our lunchbox, we have some pens and things, and we have a bus. A lunchbox, what will come next? Well, we need our pens. So what they would do is they would look through the paper, okay? Pencil and paper, get it? <laughs> they look through their paper and they would find the next item in the series and they would place it next to their pencil, okay? So, lots of fun. You could put the papers on a pocket chart so it's real easy for them to see and find their answer. Okay, so they're not like searching through, especially if you're doing this with preschool. Kindergarten might be, it might be a little bit easier, but. Um, so this one is another ABC pattern. Um, let's do, try this one. This one is an AABB. So we have books, books, Scissors, scissors, what will come next? So I'm gonna go ahead and look through. And of course, what will come next will be my books. Okay, and so then the kids would place it on, all right? So they could just go on and on. The patterning is um, A, B, C, A, B, and uh, here's one. Here's A, B, A, B, and you saw A, B, C, and you saw A, A, B, B. All right, so you can just kind of see the different patterning there that you'd be teaching the kids, okay? So there's that activity, let's try another one. Okay, this next activity is going to use our sensory bin and it is called Pumpkin Patch. I always include a direction card with all of my activities when you download them. Um, so I print them on Avery label paper. You, can, you don't have to, but I do, and then I attach them to the front of a Ziploc bag where I keep the activity. So here's the last one that I did. You can see how I attached that because it was on label paper right to the bag and then I keep everything I need for that activity in here. Now I have not attached this one to a plastic bag yet, but I will when we're done with this activity because this is the only one we haven't done yet. Um, we are going to do this activity in October. And when I'm filming this, it's almost October. Okay, so this is our sensory bin. And I have filled it with just all sorts of fall things, fall sensory things. This is a one of those squishy um, 
stress toys and it's a scarecrow so I thought he would be perfect in our sensory bin there's some of these little leaves that are kind of squishy that I put in there I have tiny little pumpkins in here and little um, corn and just all sorts of little fun things some little tiny leaves uh, and then bigger leaves these are actually like stickers but I just kept the paper on them so they can just play with them. They can dig around and then um, there's sand in here as well. If you can see that, okay. So that's what I have everything in is the sand. So sensory bin, great for um, using our fine motor skills as well. But this particular activity is going to be a literacy activity. We are gonna be working on rhyming words. Okay, so what I did is the um, activity is called uh, rhyming pumpkin patch, okay. This says pumpkin patch, but it's actually rhyming pumpkin patch. And it comes with a mat. Okay, here is the mat. It looks like this. All right, so what you want to do is you want to print that out, and you can laminate it, or you can just um, put it into a sleeve like I did here uh, to protect it. And then the activity also comes with these cards. Okay, so you want to laminate those and cut them out, which I did. And you want to mix them up and turn them upside down on the mat. See where it's got this little square? You want to put them there, upside down. And then you want to hide all of your pumpkin words inside your sensory bin. This is going to be kind of our pumpkin patch here. And these are the pumpkins, and we're going to hide them in there. And they all have different words and pictures on them, if you can see. Okay? So I use sand, that way um, they can stand up here in my sensory bin, all right? Now, what the children will do is they will have their mat in front of them. They will flip over a card. We will practice reading, b-a-t, bat, okay? And then it's got the picture there to also help them. So they'll have a visual clue, all right? And then what they're going to do is they have to find another word in their bin that ends with at, because we're trying to find a rhyming word. So they're gonna look through their bin and find a word that ends with at, okay? So I have bat, and let's see, I found cat. And there should be two words for every card, okay? So I found cat, I'm going to put him in my pumpkin patch on my mat, okay? So they're gonna put it right there. And then they're gonna look around in their bin again and find another one, and I found hat. So they will add that onto their mat. So once they found both words, they are done with this card. They can place this card off to the side. They can take their two pumpkins back out of the patch, put it with that card, and flip over and start again. Now we're going to sound this word out. B -i -g. Big. Big. This is the word big. Now we have to find ig. Uh, another word that ends in ig. So let's look in our sensory bin. Of course, they're going to look around and you can help them find dig. And then the other one is, the other one here is pig. So I've got dig and pig and I'm going to place them on my mat. You get the idea, okay? So they're just going to continue on flipping over cards and finding the rhyming words in their pumpkin patch, okay? All right, let's go on to the very last activity that I have to show you. Okay, the last activity I have to show you today is called number match one through 20. So we are going to be practicing our numbers one through 20. We're gonna be matching numerals and amounts, okay? Now, the great part about this activity is you could do this activity with a really young child and only work on numbers one through 10 or you could use it with an older child um, and work on numbers one through 20. So this side of our mat has numbers one through 20. This side of our mat has just one through 10. Okay, so you can decide how you wanna do it. Now, if I'm gonna work on just numbers one through 10, I can show you the different cards. So there's two sets of cards. There's numeral cards like this, and there are amount cards like this, okay? So these are the apples and they have different amounts on them, okay? So um, what the, what you would do is the children would pick a number and if they're using this mat, you only wanna give them numbers up through 10. All right, so let's say they pick number four, they place it on their mat. Then they have to count out four objects and place it in their apple 10 frame. 
Now what I have here are little apple erasers because obviously they go with our theme. You don't have to have that though. You could have just little red blocks and that could represent an apple. Okay, um, you could have little red pom-poms and those would represent apples. Um, so you don't have to have red erasers, okay? Uh, and then the last step is to find the apple card that has four seeds and match it up. So here I have the number four. I counted out four apples on my map and then I found the matching apple seeds. Okay, you could actually even use seeds. So if you didn't want to have a toy, um, you could have some seeds for the kids to put in there and then it would really match their card, okay? But we used these little apple erasers. All right, so let me um, show you then what they would do on the back. It's the same exact thing except for they can go past 10. Let's say they chose card number 12, then they would count out 12 apples. I have 12 apples counted out and then I need to find 12 here. Okay, so here's my apple with 12 seeds. So I have the number 12, I've counted 12 and I found my 12 seeds. Okay, so that is number match one through 20. So there you have it. Those are the activities that we have worked on recently for preschool and kindergarten, the hands-on activities, I should say. Um, and they are the newest ones uh, that have been added to our shop. So uh, check out the links below if you're looking for those and if you're interested. We will see you guys in our next video. Thanks so much for watching.